celebrating Denver, Colorado today. Beautiful shot there, and you were identifying mushrooms during the break. Kelly, well done. Jen, uh, Jen was Chef Jen was explaining to me the difference between an oyster mushroom and a hen of the woods. Of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I describe a hen of the Thank woods. Thank you. Careful. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. So our journey through the Mile High City continues today with a cooking lesson from one of Denver, Denver's finest. She's a James Whoa. Beard Award winner. A JB winner. The owner of Rioja. <laughs> Stoic and genuine. Uh -huh. Altair. Altrea and Bistro Vendome. Oh, mm. I mean, only four restaurants. Please <laughs> welcome Chef Jen Jasinski. <laughs> welcome, Chef Jen. Thank you. Chef is kind of living, uh, it seems like you're living your best life. I, I am, pretty much. I'm yeah. here with you. It's like, this, well, this it's all great. uphill, it's all downhill from here, I guess. Okay, right? so we have warm pans we um, can tell. Yep. What are we making today, Chef We are going to make Colorado lamb. Mm -hmm. And you brought Grenache this from, poach pears. you brought this. I brought a little Yeti cooler with lamb all the way from Colorado on the plane. You are Just committed. so you know that Ryan, Ryan <laughs> believes that you brought it in your your Tumi luggage no. and then it cooks <laughs> in the overhead. A slow cooked to be prepared. All right. No. Okay. Where do we start? Seasoning? Okay. So I think, Ryan, I think you're going to do the lamb. I am. Yes, and we have to season things well. And this is a beautiful Colorado lamb loin. So salt and pepper on this guy really well. And I think you have a hot pan. I do. I can feel the heat uh, on my elbow. And um, so, yeah, so salt and pepper this well. We'll put a little grapeseed oil in this pan. And it's right there on your yeah, counter. Front yeah. Oh, that's olive oil. Sorry. But they're both good. Grapeseed is a nice high temp. Yes. for Higher heat index yeah. than yeah. grapeseed oil. Right. Exactly. And then when you put the lamb in, be careful to put it away from you so you don't splash that oil on you. Right. He will splash oil on you. Kelly, <laughs> I have been working on my splashing technique to minimize it. Take a look. Oh, okay. wow. Very nice. Yes, very okay. nice. And then, Kelly, how about you cook the mushrooms? Yeah, sure. Butter. Yeah. Yeah, let's butter. start with uh, the grapeseed oil again. Grapeseed oil again. And then let's, yeah. So he used it all, so and then, I'll just use the butter. Well, olive oil's fine. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil will do the trick yeah. every time. And then we have beautiful chanterelle mushrooms, which mm. I also brought in my cooler. How nice. These are and, the and they're nice and clean, but if they're not clean at home, you know, and you I tear just... them up. If they're a little bit big, I might tear them up. Okay. And if they're small, I just throw them in like it is. Jen, how long is my lamb cooking here? Um, it's going to cook for a little bit. You're going to get a nice sear on one side, and then we're going to turn it over. But you want to mm. get some nice caramelization. I like that flavor. Uh, Do you mm. like your lamb medium rare, Ryan? I love all of my proteins as a vegan, medium rare. Okay. <laughs> but and I then, cheat every week. And then, Kelly, let's put some salt <laughs> and pepper on the mushrooms, too, because that's awesome. Mm. And then, smells so good. now, Kelly, for me, I'm going to put a little thyme and garlic in here, but no garlic <laughs> for you, Kelly. The smoke okay. of my lamb? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so a little fresh thyme in that pan. Mm, thyme yep. goes on and out. nothing but thyme. Garlic, but not for you, Kelly, right? No yes, garlic. not for me. Yeah. So we're going to let this cook. Um, mm. Yeah, so what do you guys think about Colorado lamb? I think it's, like, awesome. So this I, think very the, I think that the, um, the um, lamb and bison and all of it coming out of Colorado is, like, just beautiful. Yeah. Our land there is so great. Our yeah. pastures, our ranchers, they yeah. really care they about do. the product there, and they it's do. so yeah. great. And, Ryan, did you want to turn that lamb over if it Already got Already ahead of the game here, Chef. He did okay. it. I've he done my it. lamb flip. Yes. He's a pretty quick study. Do you need a job? Listen, I, I, I have jobs. I, I, I like my future of uh, be hosting a cooking or travel <laughs> show. He okay. wants to be um, uh, Stanley Tucci. Oh, uh, okay, okay. okay. He Stanley doesn't Tucci. understand why Stanley Tucci okay. gets to have all the fun. He gets okay. to do all the stuff around Italy. All right, Kelly, let's so put some Italian. butter in those mushrooms. Oh, yes, I like to and, butter my mushrooms. And now the other thing that I want to talk about is we have poached pears. But the poached <sighs> pears have been done ahead of time. But this is a really fun, kind of simple recipe where we take some beautiful red wine, Grenache. Mm -hmm. We like Grenache. Spanish wine because yes. of Rioja. Rioja, yeah. And then we a little aromatics, fennel, peppercorns, sugar. Put it in your wine. We bring it up to a simmer, and then we just kind of plop our nice pears in there. Um, I so think it's go to the green market and get some beautiful pears. Yes. All right, so then those are already ready for us. Yes. So that's great. So um, we're going to let that lamb cook medium rare, and we have our mushrooms cooking here. We have the poached pear, and then what we're going to do, um, we're going to pull this lamb out, Ryan. Done. And My then we're going to add the wine to the pan. This, we have a little bit of wine, but not all of it. Not there. I need a and pretty we're plate. Deglaze though. that pan. Deglaze your pan. Deglaze my pan? Yeah. Is that what I do here with this? Yeah. yeah. And then Back up put in it. the butter. And then put in the butter. And now you're going to make sauce right there in the pan. So, all done. And I'm then gonna we're going to put you. a little bit you. of salt and pepper on there. 
<laughs> and you can turn that pan down now. So, I like, yeah, a, I like a nice now. facial when I cook. I yeah. did turn it, turn it down. I did, I turned it off. Okay. Yeah, perfect, you can turn that off. And that way all the flavor comes in for your lamb dish. Someone told me to turn it up, yeah. I turned it up. <laughs> I think mm. it's perfect. I can smell right. it in here. It's going to be perfect. Kelly's risking her oh, On this, I'm Kelly. risking it all. I like it. I'm I risking like it. life and limb, Chef Jen. I like Jen. it. I like it. All right. It so, smells so good. So, yeah. So, then, so it's a nice, simple dish. And then we can plate this up. And we can try it if you like. Mm. And is this yes. one Ryan's? And then this one mine? Thank so, you. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So what I'd like to do is I have that sauce. And we have a little bit of watercress. And I have my, my tweezers. Yes. So I can put the watercress on. Oh, yes. On. Oh, is that how you You guys water have to be press? fancy. And you got to lean in. Chefs always lean in so fancy. close. fancy. Lean in very close. Okay, tweezers are fancy. Right? All right, so we'll put the watercress on. You know, Gelman's a real killjoy. Did you hear that, chef? <laughs> you want some more. And then yeah, if you have your spoon garden. on there, we can just put a little bit of sauce on the plate. Kelly, you got to drizzle like an executive chef. Yes. Yes. Drizzle. A drizz. Okay, yeah. executive chef drizz. drizzling. A yeah. drizz. You got the drizzle. Ryan, do you want some drizzle? I know you're always conscientious. For shizzle, <laughs> give me the drizzle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anyways, hopefully you guys will By enjoy By the way, it's that. not only going to taste great. Look how beautiful it is, too, mm. Chef. Yeah, Thank you very much. Too. For yeah. this recipe or more information on Jen's Denver restaurants, and there are a lot, Ooh, visit kellyandryan.com. We'll be right back with the mm. inbox. Beautiful. If you would like to try today's recipe or know more about our trip to Denver, just go to our website at kellyandryan.com.